plans for today were somewhat ruined. Um, first of all, I didn't know it was supposed to rain today. Secondly, I was supposed to go to the gym this morning, but thanks to a small mom and pop operation called Pfizer, I can only move my arm to about there. So instead, I'm just gonna go for a run. Uh, landfills always remind me of the set from Teletubbies. I think just because they're so hilly and they're so green. It's a nice little overlook of Blackbrook here. This has all been cleaned out with power lines. An old power line. Obviously made out of metal. If you ever want to do something kind of fun, or, you know, quote unquote fun, is you can see these power line uh, clearings on Google Maps and it's really fun because you can trace them like all the way across the country. They, they go for hundreds if not thousands of miles. Especially there's, uh, there's one that goes along exactly the United States Canadian border and goes about the entire length. It's pretty, pretty awesome. These are sort of underappreciated the vastness of this power industry. I highly recommend this hot sauce. It's just a Walmart brand, but I've been going up their rankings and I'm on Hot Squared. My mouth's absolutely on fire. Oh my God. <sighs> hot sauce is such a bizarre, such a bizarre experience. I can move my arm up to about there now. It's getting better. My plan is to get out the boat, not this weekend. Let me think about this. Not next weekend, but the weekend after. I think that should be good. It's kind of pointless in my brain to take out the boat when I can't jump in the water because that's like the whole reason why I like to go out to like the middle of Lake Potanipo is to swim. Um, but I really want to just set everything up, make sure it works. But I need a whole day to do that because I have to figure it all out, you know, make sure everything runs and set it up. I would like to blow everything up, set it all up, run it a little bit before I take it all the way to the lake <laughs> so that I'm, people aren't waiting for me to set up a boat and then only to realize that there's a malfunction, that wouldn't be worth it.
But I'm really excited for the boating season now, especially that I live in Manchester. I'm more likely to go up, not to the really the lakes region, but just, I mean, there's so many lakes um, around the state that it would be great for that boat. Sort of a, a bucket list location of mine would be to go to Echo Lake, which is at the base of Franconia Notch. And my assumption would be that it's always very busy there, but every time I've driven past up through Franconia, I haven't seen anybody in really, like a couple boats. So uh, it's sort of one of those things where I'm like, it's gotta be too good to be true. Like, or it, it's like too good to be that easy to get into it. But when you look online, there's not like any special regulation or something. It's just same old, you know, lake. It's not like you have to sign up or pay or anything like that. So I always just assumed there'd be packed, but it never is at least the times that I've driven by, but maybe I'm thinking I'm just not driving by at the right times or something. I just would hate to drive all the way up there and then see that there's like a four hour wait to get your boat in there. Cause it's not a very big lake. And I think most people are just fishing in that lake. So, which I'm not doing, I'm just chilling, like having some beers on the water. <laughs> so if it's a small lake and there's people who want to fish and actually do something productive with their boat time, probably would lose their, their patience with me. But I'm always open to suggestions. Um, if you know, if you have any suggestions of some lakes that would hit, uh, I would love to hear them because I'm always look listening for like sort of unknown gems. Because um, anytime there's lots of boats on the water, it creates a lot of wake, obviously, and that's. I mean, I have an inflatable boat, so it, it it's durable, it's fine, but it. It's not really a chill experience if there's a bunch of boats on the lake. So that's why I would like never go to Lake Winnipesaukee or anything like that. A boat would just not be appropriate. <laughs> but I also want to avoid things like Powder Mill Pond, which is a giant nightmare of uh, seaweed or, you know, grass, which just that, that propeller, because it's just a trolling motor, you can't cut through any of that grass. It's just gonna get all tangled up. So it needs to be clean and small. But that's still a couple weeks away. I'm looking forward to it though. It's gonna be fun. Yeah, I think that's probably fine.